In today's video, I discovered even more packs that I didn't know I had. All right, guys, so it happened again. So our, we did a video recently about how I found some packs that I didn't know I had. Well, I was going through another box in this room that I have a bunch of boxes just laying around and I'm gonna reenact what happened because it already happened. I didn't know I needed to be videoing, but I'm gonna show you what happened and how I found more packs that I didn't know I had. So I was going through this box of stuff here. Here's Dr. Chicken's, one of his mystery boxes, but I was going through this stuff. I saw this and I was like, what is this? This is a bunch of like bolt cards I need to bulk out. I grab it and I'm like, it feels like there's something in here. I look, go to open it up and in here is a bunch of packs. And I was like, okay, are these sealed? Are these like opened already? This is like 50 packs. We've got Duelist Revolution packs. I think it was like 21 of these. And then it was 24, I think. Stardust Overdrive, and these are unlimited, of course, but still, 45 total packs that I had no idea that I had. Just grabbed it in this box. I'm not even kidding. I'm not making this up. I remember when I had these, and I thought I sold all of them. What's up, guys? We're back with another Lost and Found video where I have lost some packs and then found them later. Which, if you guys missed the previous video, go check it out. We opened up some First Ed Legacy of Darkness. We showed off an Invasion of Chaos poster that I had misplaced somehow. But this time, I actually found even more packs, and they're pretty nice as well. But before we do that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards, the Elemental Hero Sparkman. We have Cyber Twin Dragon and Cyber Laser Dragon. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Will we get anything out of these Lost and Found packs? I'm hoping we pull something incredible, like maybe an Effect Veiler Ulti. Just saying. All right, let's get these packs out. You guys have already seen what it is. So I'm just going to get these out of the box. All right, I've gotten out. We have 45 total packs. Is I think it's 45. I think it's 25, 21. We're going to do a little, like, mini battle here. I know there's a couple more Stardust Overdrive packs. We're going to see which can pull better. I think the Duelist Revolution actually has some crazy supers. Like, the scrap cards are, like, 10 bucks or something in Super Rare, which is pretty insane. There's some big cards we want to pull in each of these. Let's just get to it and see if we can find some lost and found cards. I'm excited to potentially pull something awesome. Here we go. Duelist Revolution. Gonna start with you. Inside, we could pull, obviously, Pot of Awesome would be amazing. It'd be awesome, you could say. The ulti effect veilers in here. We've got the Ghost Rare potential. Uh, Solemn Warnings in here, I believe. We have Amazonas Fighting Spirit and ulti. I think it's Warning, right? That, it's a Solemn card. I'm pretty sure it's Warning. Amazonas Willpower. I feel like this used to be money as well. It might still be. And an Amazon is trainee. So starting off, willpower could be a dollar card. I'm not totally sure. All right, next pack, we have SOVR. We have had great luck with this set. So I've already pulled the Unlimited Ghost before. That was a year ago, something like that. And then we, of course, pulled the first Ed Archler Christia somewhat recently, about a month or two ago. I guess it was a month ago at this point. Swap Frog. So we've had great luck with this set. So I'm hoping that we can continue that because a lot of that last Sardis Overdrive opening was not mine. That was for Lars. This is mine because I just found these packs, which is pretty exciting. We have the Fortune Lady Earth and and attack pheromones so nothing there let's go duelist revolution again let's see what we can get can we pull something epic so far it's just a couple rares nothing too crazy we have trainee i don't know the exact uh pack trick it could be three from the back swap those you know it might be the fifth card could be wrong Am earthquake giants stronghold guardian we have watt cannon Amazonas Village, okay, and the Queen's Pawn, some more Amazonas. I don't know if that's a great card or not, but I will put it aside just in case. Stardust Overdrive, uh, so far we are 0 for 3. A lot of packs to be open today. This is, a, I mean, this is a pretty expensive opening. These are good packs, but when you, you didn't know you had them, it's okay to just open them all up, right? Because, I mean, I thought I had $0 worth of packs, so let's just make them $0, pull nothing. We have Iron Core Armor, hopefully we'll pull something. Gemini Booster, Insect Neglect, we have Bending Destiny, Molting Escape, Dijin release her rituals and the relinquished spider, the spider spider. Plus, I know you guys will be excited to see stuff like Duelist Revolution and Stardust Overdrive because we're in the 5Ds era, which is a pretty nice era for opening at this point because there's still a lot of valuable hollows that haven't been reprinted in a long time, such as those scrap cards. We have Blinding Spot, we have Watt Beta, Scrap Goblin, we've got the, I can't pull this card, Lock Cat, Desperate Tag, Watt Scene. The Horn of the Phantom Beast and the Scrap Sheen. Speaking of scraps, that's a common, so I'm guessing not too crazy. We are 0 for 5 to start. Not doing so hot. I've never weighed any 5Ds error or anything like that, so I don't have any fear that... I'm guessing this is a security tag yeah security tag unfortunately it's a security tag not some sort of like error card or anything like that but i know that i've never done any weighing with this kind of pack so i know these won't be weighed or, or at least not by me i don't know remember where these came from we have gemini i think 
I got these in a large purchase at one point. We have Dijin Releaser and Relinquish Spider. I used to have like different lots of these certain packs for a while that I was selling. I think it was 2021 back when we did that. And I'm guessing that, uh, you know, I listed a bunch of them, sold a bunch. I sold out my inventory on the website and then just put these aside. I don't know exactly what happened. We have Wad Pheasant. Naturia Beans. Nice. We have Damage Eater. Miracle Synchro Fusion. Earthquake Giant. Howl of the Wind. Playful Possum and the Unihormed Familiar. So at the moment, we are not pulling anything. We have not pulled a single foil yet. So it's a slow start. A lot of packs to be open. So I have faith that we can turn this around. Another security tag in there. Okay, upside down. Interesting. Let's turn that around like that. Oh, oops. I didn't turn these around, did I? Like that. We have the Spider Egg, Woodland Archers, Dark Spider, Reptilian Medusa, Ocelion, Insect Neglect. Time Passage, Gemini Scorpion, and the Swap Frog. It's a good card, but just a common, so it's not, you know, commons can only hold so much value because they're common. Unless there's some sort of short print, which that could be, but we pulled two of them, so I doubt it. Duels Revolution. Here we go. I really want that effect veiler. I have pulled that for someone before. That was back when we used to sell these packs on the website. I pulled effect veiler for somebody, so I'm not expecting to pull. I mean, there's an ultra version as well, which would be cool, but the ulti version would be the absolute dream. Never pulled it for myself. I have pulled it for someone else though. Desperate tag, Cherry Mosquito, Summoning Curse. Amaz Amazonist Village yet again, and uh, the Amazonist trainee. We are getting the Amazonist cards, that's for sure. Stardust Overdrive. Let's go. What can we get? One, two, three. We have Reptilian Scylla, Reptilian Spawn, Swap Frog, Roar the Earthbound, Synchro Barrier, Quick Draw Synchron, Herculean Power, Degen Releaser of Rituals, and the Spider Egg. The Egg of the Spider. Oh my gosh, this is a rough start. If we go 0 for 45, then... <laughs> It makes sense why I didn't know I had these packs. Okay, let's see if we can turn that around. Let's see if we can get anything. We have Anti-Magic Prism. Make sure I'm not missing any foils or anything. Naturia Beans, I need to be pulling those out. That's one of my favorite cards. Unicorn Familiar, we have Damage Eater. Earthquake Giant. Amazon is Fighting Spirit. Stronghold Guardian. Ambitious Gopher. And the Cursed Armament. Okay, can we please pull anything out of these? Stardust Overdrive. Can you maybe bless us? with something epic maybe could you do it one two three we have attack pheromones we have a pointer of the red lotus a ritual buster solitaire magician regulus wolf in sheep's clothing ritual of grace fortune lady earth and earthbound wave i don't know what percentage we are i mean not percentage i don't know how many we've opened but we're oh for something all right this uh this battle's been pretty easy to tally up because i don't think we have if we have anything it's off a rare being like a dollar or something so the score is probably not very high at the moment okay let's see we have the watt beta we got the beta fish we got the queen spawn chain whirlwind gen x worker eventually we'll find out the pack trick when we pull a foil right eventually damage eater Playful Possum and uh, Scrap Rage. Okay, we are. I'm speaking of rage. Speaking of rage, I'm feeling it right now. Where is it? Where are the packs? Or where are the, the pulls? We found some of those Legacy of Darkness packs and then we pulled nothing out of them. Well, we didn't pull nothing. We pulled one foil. So it's kind of similar to what we're doing now. We have Woodland Archer. There were only like eight of those, though. There was one Stardust Overdrive there, though. So Stardust Overdrive. Yes! A foil, and I've been doing the pack trick wrong the whole time. It looks like it is the other one, but this is actually a good super, so I'm glad to interrupt myself, whatever I was talking about before that. We have pulled a super. I think this is like, I can't put this in the sleeve. Three to four dollars. It's been so long since I pulled a foil, I don't remember how to sleeve cards. Three to four dollars super. Honestly, pretty good. That's really good for the Stardust Overdrive side. Finally, I'll take it. Okay, Duelist Revolution. Here we go. Keep in mind, uh, they do have three extra packs on the Stardust Overdrive side, so I'm gonna do the same pack trick here as if that was the correct one here as well. Anti-Magic Prism, we have Naturia Beans. Very nice, put that to the side. We have Beast Rage. Naturia Mosquito, a Summoning Curse. Flame Valve Pound, a Cursed Armaments. Dark Deceptor, and Chain Whirlwind. Okay, the chainiest of whirlwinds. SOVR, you've, you're starting to heat up. You know, you've got one in a row. One straight pull. Let's see if we can continue that. It should be this, and then that, maybe? I don't know, did I do it right? Link with Spider. I think I did it wrong, actually. Nature Spiritual Force. We got Regulus. Tuned Magician. We have Infernity Force. Quick Draw Synchron. Enlightenment. Yeah, I did it wrong. And the Inherited Fortune. That's fine. Nope, we'll figure it out. I second guessed myself. I was doing it right the first time. Second guessed myself. Messed it up. So let's see about Duelist Revelation. So you go one, two, three, four, and then you swap them. That's what you do. All right. Dash Warrior. 
Pestilence. Isn't that a magic card? We have AD Changer, Barrier Wave. Speaking of, I do have a magic opening I need to upload that I did with uh, with my friend over there. Okay, here we go. We have Scrap Golem. Okay, this used to be like a $5 rare. And... Oh, Scrap Chimera, let's go. This is one of the big ones. I think this is like $9 or something, if I saw that correctly on the price guide. So yeah, pretty awesome super there. The first super has finally been pulled. I don't know if Golem is still an expensive rare because I think there was a reprint maximum gold, so that should probably put it under a dollar now. All right, I got distracted. Uh, as I was saying, I have a video with Magic to Millions we never posted. I need to post soon because it's pretty old school. I think we opened... What were the sets now? I'm getting confused because I bought Magic since then. We opened, I think, an Antiquities, which is like 94. And then Leg Legends? Is that the right one? There's two old ones, two old ones from 94 that we opened that are like a thousand dollar packs. So I need to post that soon. Remind me in the comments to post the magic video. Enlightenment, Toon Magician. We have Asha Leon. It's a pretty sweet old school open, like older than Yu-Gi-Oh. It's pretty crazy. Gemini Booster, we have Dijin, and we have Energy Bravery. So nothing too crazy. Start us overdrive. Uh, Duelist Revolutions made a move with that last pack. Two scrap cards that were both pretty good. Let's see if we can continue to do that. I think that that will work. We have the Scrap Range, Scrap Rage. We have Unhorn Familiar, Elephant, Flamvale Fiend, Amazon is Fighting Spirit, Mind Mole with the flower on his nose, Wad Cannon, Dark Despoteer, and oh, another Scrap Chimera. All right, if you're going to pull a super twice, you might as well pull the $10 super twice, right? That's nice. Scrap Chimera, I, I use this for a little bit. When you use the scrap package, this is one of the cards in there. This Scrap Golem. Uh, scrap Wyvern, the Scrap Raptor, of course, or Scrapter, as someone told me. They were mad I didn't call it Scrapter, so there you go. All right, SOVR. So honestly, it's opening turn around. We've only had a couple supers pulled total, but two really good supers. Like, they're better than a lot of the other cards. And it, now that I've started doing the pack trick right, we've started pulling stuff. Surprise, surprise. We have Ritual Buster. The pack trick knows all. Spiritual Forest, we have the Necromancer. Attack Pheromones. Heraclean Power, we have Spider Spider. Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. Zero Gardener and uh, the Reptilian Medusa. So SOVR, I think, is getting killed now. And that's with extra packs on SOVR side. I would love to pull the uh, Dragon Knight Draco Roquise out of this uh, Duelist Revolution set, though, because I think I need one unlimited. So it'd be pretty amazing if we were to pull that because it's not the most desired ghost shirt, but I need to pull every single one at some point. Watt Beta, we have Scrap Chain, and I think I need it for my binder. We have Queen's Pawn, Mosquito, we have Summoning Curse. Flamvel Pound, we have Dark Desert Taper, and the Chain Whirlwind. The Whirlwind has been chained. All right, a lot of packs still left. SOVR, this feels like it has a uh, little thing in it. Yeah, I forgot what it was called. I was saying it earlier and I already forgot. I have a problem, guys. I'm forgetting everything recently, which is not good. I'm not good at all. I'm, only, I'm not even 30. And I can't remember anything. We have Necromancer, Attack Pheromones, Herculean Power, Solitaire Magician, Regulus, the Raging Mad Plants, and... Oh, a secret! Clear Vice Dragon, so it's not the Archul or Christia, which even in Unlimited is a very expensive card, but it is a Clear Vice Dragon secret. Look, when you've been pulling supers all day, we're taking secrets no matter what they are. And it is a pretty cool looking one as well. Funny enough, that card's worth about the same as the Scrap Chimera, about a $10 card, so that's kind of funny. The supers are outpacing the secrets, but I'll take a high-end secret rare wherever I can get it. That's nice. A secret three supers, I think, is what we pulled today, which is not overly great but it is definitely better than what we started which was like 0 for 20. <laughs> Bicorn Riem we have Anti Magic Prism. Rhinotaurus we have Lock Cat. Desperate Tag. Watson. Scrap give Scrap <laughs> what did I just say? Scrap baby. All right and we have Flame Bell Archer. Scrap give you. I don't know what that is but it's a new it's a new thing that you you pull apparently from Duelist Revolution. We have another security tag in here that's what they're called. Last time there was one in here, we pulled a secret. So let's see if we can do that again. One, two, three, four. A little swappity swap, little flippity flip. Let's see. We have the spider egg, woodland archer, dark spider, iron core armor, rucks and special. Oh, I just threw a card. Spider spider. I haven't seen that much. Molting escape. We have ground spider, Lord British space fighter, and the savage coliseum. It's savage in the coliseum. Okay. Duelist revolution. Let's see what you can do. One, two, three, four. We have Scrap Rage. We have Uniform Familiar. Elephant. Flamvel Fiend. Gen X Worker. The Worker of Gen X. Waddle. We have Scrap Goblin. Horn of the Phantom Beast. And Chain. Whirlwind. Whirlwind.
has been chained. Speaking of being chained, can we pull something crazy out of SOVR right here? Let's see. We have more dog tag, more security tags, or whatever you want to call them. All right. Can we get a secret rare yet again? Ultra rare, ghost rare would be really nice. Brandy Necromancer, Reptilian Gorgon, Earthbound Wave, Spider Web, Roxanne Special, Infinity Force, Spidey Spider. We have Molting Escape. Fortune Lady Earth and the Ground Spider. All right, the spider from the ground. Speaking of from the ground, let's grab this Duelist Revolution that was laying on the ground. All right, guys, let me know in the comments. Do you like this uh, this kind of video? Finding something, you know, a little bit different that I put a little clip in there of me discovering something. Naturia beans, very nice. Obviously, I can't really recreate this because I'll have to just forget about something, which I've sold you. I've been forgetting about stuff a lot recently, so maybe these aren't even that old. They are a couple of years, I think. Playful Blossom and... Uh, Ooh, a secret. I'll have just a cyclone creator. And you can really see the difference. This is kind of where they changed the uh, secret rare pattern. Like in this era, you can see the difference here. The secrets are a, little, a lot different than the clear vice. Let me show you. I mean, this was 2009, I think, Stardust Overdrive. And then we're up to 2010, no, 2011. So a couple years, somewhere in there. I think it was 2010, maybe. I can't remember exactly. There is the regular old school secret versus the newer kind of legendary collection Yugi kind of secret, which I think Yugi actually had two different prints. One was the old and one was new. Not an expert on that, but very cool. Two different secrets. All right, that's pretty sweet. Very awesome. Cool to get secret rares. I like that. Not necessarily great ones. I don't think Cyclone Creator is like the most desired of all the cards in the set, but hey, I'll take it. Gemini Counter, we have Enlightenment, Relinquish Spider, and it's loose packs, I think, so it should be I mean, they are loose now. I don't know where they came from. They could have been loose before. I think they're out of one of those big 100-pack boxes. Quick draw Synchron. So you never know, like with loose packs, anything can really happen. So maybe we'll get another secret and get an ulti. Ulti would be pretty awesome. Get a ghost. Obviously, that would be awesome. Ultras, we have not pulled any ultras yet. We have Bicorn Riem, Watt Beta, Pestilence, Amazon is Trainee. We have Summoning Curse, Flam Val Pound, Chain Whirlwind, the Egotistical Ape, and the Gen X Worker. Gen X, I've said many times, I won a Duel Links tournament one time. Oh, it was a two deck tournament, non meta. One of my decks was Gen X. Believe it or not, I won a tournament at one point. I know it was only 16 players, so not that crazy, but I did win. Linguist Spider, we have Level Leader. Spider Egg, we have Reptilian Scylla. Time Passage, Regulus, Quick Draw, Synchron, Earthbound Revival, and oh, an Ultimate Rare, Quacky Miru Maximus. So I asked for an ulti and I received one. Oh, check that out. Quacky Miru Maximus, that is a beautiful looking card. It gets really dark like this. It's like, ooh, and then it's like, whoa, ooh, whoa, ooh. Very cool, Quacky Miru Maximus, that's pretty awesome. Like 3,000 attack, dragon, can't go wrong with that. Okay, so ulti, secret, super have all been covered. We need ghost, we need ultra. That's the only ones we don't have. Ultra, there are some good ones here. Secret, I would love a pot of awesome if we got another one. Ulti, obviously we want effect veiler, we want solemn warning, stuff like that. Ultra we could get effect veiler and solemn warning there's also some other cool stuff like i think the uh i think the draco quiz comes in ultra as well doesn't or is it a secret okay guts of steel and now does that look like an ulti and the amazon is fighting spirit i think that used to be a decent card as well stardust overdrive let's keep it up stardust it might turn into a longer video because i'm you know 45 packs but these are pretty old packs you know i'm not like rushing through these so it might be semi long video hopefully you guys are enjoying the old school 5ds 5ds is basically old school at this point i call it old because you know 2009 it's in it's before 2010 that's pretty old 2011 is still up there as well Quick draw synchron, another great card. So you got to kind of consider this an old school opening when it's 2024. I mean, 15 years for the 2009 pack and 13 years for the other. Pretty insane if you think about it, because a lot of us were around, or at least, you know, I wasn't around playing at the time, but I was definitely around in terms of existing. We have double cyclone, guardian, we have damage eater. It was a few years after my time playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Playful Possum and... Watt Cannon. All right. So pretty insane that these are that old. That just means that we are officially old. That's just how that works. One, two, three, four. We have the Earthbound Wave, Spider Weeb. We have the Relinquished Spider, Level Eater. Molting Escape. We have Ground Spider, Savage Coliseum, Lord British Space Fighter, and the Tuned Magician. Two extra packs still. So I'm going to go a couple in a row with SOVR just to even them out. I wonder what the score is looking like now. That ulti definitely change things up i mean a pretty big ulti i think it's a decent one we have light impulse we have Scylla. it's not like the best slip summon but it's still a pretty strong one we have viper force rux and special spider spider not too many of those today i've done pretty good we have reptilian poison oh 
I saw the synchro and I was like, oh, okay. Reptilian Hydra, this used to be a big like $10 one. I'm not sure what it's at now. I don't know if it got a reprint, but if it didn't, it's probably at least gonna be five bucks. So that's a solid super as well. Okay, so uh, there will be a little asterisk, you know, like they got three extra packs. So if they do pull it off, just keep that in mind. But you know, I didn't want to like not open three packs, you know, for, cause you know, we want to open all the packs. It's fun. We have Linker Spider, Level Eater. Spider egg. Reptilian side. I could have saved these packs for future videos. I decided why not? Let's just open these things up. Early Herculean Power. We have Rinyan, Light Sworn, Rogue, and Oh, a Shire Light Sworn Spirit. Another one that's a few dollars. I've sold a few of these recently thanks to the new Light Sworn support. So that's actually a pretty good one. I think it's around three dollars if I had to guess. Some good supers being pulled today. All right, duels rev. I think you're gonna need something. That ulti definitely change things i think i could be wrong and it could be like a nine dollar ulti which means duelist revolution still in it but i'm not 100 percent sure off the top of my head a lot of people are like yeah Lovin ruxin says the price and he's completely wrong and they're like ha ha and i'm like i mean what do you expect you expect me to know all these prices i i get it i i've high expectations i've set for you you're welcome we have to share your force but sometimes i am wrong i'm gonna do my best to guess correctly but a lot of these i've never even seen the price for how the wild unless i've sold them before parallel selection and naturia mosquito so naturias have returned oh there's still an extra pack here there's five of these now okay one two three four let's see if sovr we have infinity force we have quick draw synchro barrier gemini booster level eater spider egg reptilian sila fortune lady water and it's reptilian spawn okay that's fine. We're going to go back to back. Seven packs left in the opening. Honestly, it's been a pretty good opening. Not incredible, incredible, but we've done pretty well. We've pulled some really old, cool stuff. I want to pull something old and amazing. That'd be really nice. We have Silent. We have Spawn. Swap Frog. Earthbound Wave. Herculean Power. Solitaire Magician. Regulus. I can't pull the card. Fortune Lady Wind. And... Oh! The Ultimate Ring! Divine Grace, North Wemco. As soon as I saw the ritual, I knew it was this card, but I didn't know if it was going to be the ulti. So that's awesome. This is a really nice looking ulti. Not a crazy valuable card, but a very cool looking card. Okay, SOVR is probably pulled ahead at this point with two ultis. I mean, just like the swag factor is definitely higher, whether the price is or not. Three extra packs though. So, you know, like in theory, Stardust Overdrive is done. So what I'm going to do is like, we could, we could have like an asterisk, like total price after 21 packs and then SOVR and then we can do like the total 24 pack after those three just so you can see like did it make a difference or did it not just for a little bit, bit of interest a little bit of stats you know stats are fun can we get a big ulti out of here no ultis out of do rev yet and there are three a hu or two huge ones what fast and cherry beans there's probably more than two actually i just don't remember them how the wild mosquito playful possum and uh, amazon a sage okay that's just a just a common all right start us overdrive you've been pretty good recently one two three four i mean we have gotten hot we started off super slow now we've pulled a secret we pulled two ulties some really good supers it's been great gemini counter we have enlightenment synchro barrier gemini booster insect neglect inherited fortune and Bending destiny. Destiny's being bended. All right, I'm going to go back here just so we can end with D-Rev because I think there could be something crazy and be fun to end there. One, two, three, four. Let's go. We have Attack Pheromones, Ruxin Special, Swap Frog. That's at least a playset. We have Gorgon, Bargain, Destiny, probably more than a playset. Molting Escape, Time Passage, Megaton, Core Panel, and another secret! Victoria! So, hey, look, this was in the last three packs, so this will be in the asterisk. Asterisk asterisk section it's very hard to say victory victoria victory victoria they're claiming victory now I, that seems like what's happening another secret two secrets two ultis not a bad opening all right d rev you're gonna need something for sure like even against the unasterisked 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 that's very hard to say one two three four i can't really say it i'm not gonna lie let's see if i can just pull something good just to make up for it pestilence Trainee, blind spot. This has turned into quite the opening after starting really slow. We have Rhino Taurus, Watson, Monoceros, Beast Rising, Scrap Beast, and Lock Cat. All right. Not in that one. SOVR. No ultras yet. No ghost. Just throwing that out there. One, two, three, four. You want to end on one? That'd be pretty nice. We have Enlightenment. We have Reptilian Spawn. Quackamira Sea Panther. Light Impulse. Tuned Magician. Spider Spider. Ritual of Grace. Shine Palace and another super Quacky Mirror Beetle. Just keep pulling foils at the end of this thing. All right, pretty awesome opening day. If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. Go check out my website if you guys want to check out some graded cards, some 
box break that's currently up. We have one basically going at all times. Members of the channel will get a discount, so if you are a member, make sure you include that. Last pack, Magic. Can we get an ulti here in final pack? That'd be pretty amazing. Queen Spawn, we have Amazon as trainee, Battle Instinct, Bicorn, Monoceros, Miracle Synchro Fusion. Give us that pot of awesome. Give us an ultimate rare effect veil or something like that. Mosquito, we have Scrap Hunter, and we have an ultimate rare Scrap Dragon in the last pack. Oh my goodness, Scrap Dragon is one that I did not mention throughout the video, but is one of the best cards. And not only is it a Scrap Dragon, it's the ultimate rare version of the Scrap Dragon in the last pack. That's a way to end a lost and found pack opening right there. So don't forget to subscribe because we're hopefully gonna have some amazing last pack magic pulls in the future. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Brad, KK Beats, and Anatai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F, Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.